came to him and said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus mm -hmm. said, go sell mm -hmm. what you have. Mm -hmm. And then he said, give to the poor. You have treasure in, in heaven. heaven. Are um, you with me? Yeah. Jesus taught, this is how the kingdom of God is. Mm -hmm. It's as if a man found a treasure in the field and he went and hid the treasure. Mm -hmm. He got one problem. He doesn't have the money to buy the field. <laughs> Isn't that right? This is what Jesus said the man did, Gilbert. Oh, right. This is what Jesus said. <laughs> right. He went home and sold uh -huh. all that he had. Yeah. That's how he got the money. Yes. And then he was able to buy the field. Now, you know, when the master says something twice, mm -hmm. that means he really means it. Yeah. So he said, again, I say unto you that the kingdom of God is like this. Mm -hmm. What is it like, Jesus? It's like this. Mm -hmm. It's like a merchant man yeah. who is looking for goodly pearls. Mm -hmm. And he found one of great price. He just got one problem. What's that? He don't have the money to buy it. <laughs> True. <laughs> no, you right, it? right. So this is what Jesus said. Oh, I love to say it too like that. Jesus said it. Uh -huh. Steve Parson didn't say it. Okay. Jesus said it. Mm -hmm. The man went home and sold mm -hmm. what he had. Okay. Thank God he had something. Mm -hmm. But he sold what he had. That's how he got the money. Mm -hmm. And he bought the pearl. Wow. See, we're not taught that in the <laughs> church. Mm -hmm. See, we're taught tithe and give. But we're not taught to do business. If, if, if tithing and giving would have worked for the majority of the black churches, we would have been rich. Yes, sir. People. I know but people tithe and give all their life and they exactly. still broke. And, and you're so right. There's only half of the principle. We need to hold the whole principle. There you go. Of being business. The Jews, let me talk about the Jews earlier. The business they're, they're business owners. They tithe. They give. But they have the business mind to create businesses right. and See, enterprises. The tithing and the giving stores up treasure in heaven. Mm -hmm. What stores treasure on earth is doing business. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. right. that's why, you know, the, 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 uh, the Wall Street, yeah. all the corporate people, mm -hmm. see, they the business owners. Oh, yeah. They got all the money. Wow. See? But what generated the money for them mm -hmm. was their business owners. They went to school to get an education, mm -hmm. okay? To become owners. To become business owners, to start businesses. Wow. You see, wow. you can't make as much money on a job. As you can, when you're the Very owner of a limited. business. <laughs> Very limited. <laughs> Very right. limited. You got somebody to tell you when, when they come in, when they go. Look, we're going to go back to taking some more calls. I have Dr. Steve Parson with me, and uh, we're going to open our lines back up. we got about 10 more minutes. And um, there's another question I want to really get off the deep end on uh, this political thing. Because this is faith, uh -oh. family values, and politics. I want to hit you with a politics oh, question. Oh, boy. Um, what about this <laughs> statement, because um, we've been talking about finance, but we're going to shoot to the way left now, whatever. What about this, um, uh, you know, we're in the times we're in now, and the statement that um, President Obama came out with the um, uh, gay marriage thing um, recently. There's been a lot of talk about that, but what are your thoughts on something like that? How is that affecting the, the, the black community and the black church? And how do you see that whole thing of his statement of, same-sex marriage and different stuff like that. How do yeah. you? Uh, well, I can't uh, speak for the, the black community, mm -hmm. but I am a black man. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I am a pastor. Okay. And I'm ashamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm proud mm -hmm. that America, because I didn't think it would happen during my lifetime. Oh, really? I'm proud that America um, uh, was in a position to to elect and nominate a black man to oh, president. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely, see what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely. And, and, and I'll tell you this. I love President Obama. Yeah, yeah, me too. Are you with me? Yeah, yes. And not only that, but, um, uh, you know, he's intelligent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. He, he uh, carries himself well, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just Very amazing. Articulate. Right. Yeah. However, the statement that he made, I'm ashamed of it. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the reason why I'm ashamed, and this is not a judgment, though. Right, you okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, I'm not judging him. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm basically just saying that what, what his statement said that it's all right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. And then the fact is that they're making a law for oh. something that's not right mm -hmm. according to what God says. Okay. See, now, the last time I read, mm -hmm. okay, the scriptures, well. to God, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. homosexuality is a sin. That's right. And it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. God is a forgiving God, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. You know, we've all sinned and fallen short of the God, the glory of God. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. But we don't make a law out of our sinning. Oh, that's true. You see true. what I'm saying? And we don't say that our sin is, is right. Mm -hmm. You know, if we do, we really didn't sin. Oh, yeah. Are you with me? Definitely. So what I'm saying is, is that 
the, the Bible says that homosexuality uh, is sin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, and I haven't seen anywhere where God's changed his mind That's about true. that. Yeah. In fact, there's a scripture that says he hates sin. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. See, so That's your sin, my sin, anybody's sin. Anybody's sin. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, so I have a, a problem with his statement. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. again, I'm not judging. I love the homosexuals too. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't judge the homosexual. Yeah. God is ultimately mm -hmm. going to judge mm -hmm. all of us. Are yeah. you with me? Yeah. But he says that it's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I believe that wrong is wrong and right is right. Uh, always. Always. Got a couple calls coming in, I think. Um, if I get my producer to send them back, we've got five more minutes. You need to get your calls in right now. I'm with Dr. Steve Parson, and we've been discussing some recession. We've been discussing some politic, political stuff. And if you have any questions, give us a call. I hear one coming in right now. Yes, sir, what's your call? Yeah, I just wanted to know, could you explain then um, the, the verse, Hebrews 13th chapter, fourth verse, where it says marriage is for all and God would do the judging. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You want to touch on that? Or? Yeah, marriage is for everybody. Mar right. Marriage is an institution that was ordained and institute, instituted by God yeah. in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. And, he, and he said, when a man mm -hmm. all right, yeah. leaves his mother and cleaves them to his wife, right. and he says he created man and woman, mm -hmm. and, and, and basically I haven't seen anything change. Mm -hmm. So marriage is for every man and every woman. Yeah. Basically, it's the law the of nature. Of, it's the, right, it's right, the law right. of nature. Right. And anything contrary to that is a perversion of God's law oh, of yeah. nature. Oh, yeah. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We, did, we didn't make this up. Oh, no. <laughs> this and we're not judging. No, we're not judging. I, in people. fact, you know, listen. If a homosexual wants to be a homosexual and a lesbian wants to be a lesbian, mm -hmm. I mean, that's their choice. That's their See, choice. God's given us mm -hmm. the right to choose. Yeah. But he says it's wrong. Yeah. See, God he says a, anything yeah. else is wrong. I mean, that's no, all right. I said is he wrong. says that's wrong. See, so I agree with yeah. what God says yeah. in his yeah. word. Yeah. Okay, give a call. Mm -hmm. We've got about four more minutes. Uh, we're on the air with Dr. Steve Parson discussing um, with faith, family, values, and politics. I'm Gilbert Wilkerson. Uh, you can let the phone start ringing. Our number is 804 915 5202. And um, we are. Still at it. Shooting from the hip tonight uh, with <laughs> Dr. Carson and uh, getting some good stuff, man. Uh, you're originally from uh, Buffalo, New York. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a New Yorker, Buffalo, right. to Richmond and yeah. been a pastor for how many years? Uh, over 30 some years. I've been wow. in the spirit-filled ministry now wow. for over 30, 33, wow. 34 years. Oh, gosh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, as our line's still open, we're going to get some calls coming in here before we close out. But um, Pastor Dr. Parson, it's been great to have you on the show and I uh, look forward to having you back, you know, and uh, we can jump some more of this good hot stuff. And I don't know who... Um, I don't know what our callers are perceiving this stuff, but I know you gave us some good information tonight on how we as a church need to break out of this mold yeah. of being poverty minded. You yeah, know? I, I believe the church yeah. needs to the church needs to generate its own income yeah, yeah, yeah. through through business. Business, people and business. then when people give their tithes and offerings, mm -hmm. we can do with the tithes and offerings what God says yeah. to do with it, yeah. which is to be a blessing to people yeah. Yeah. and to help our people. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And give to the poor. The Bible says in Galatians 2.10, remember the poor. Yeah. Uh, I think we have a call coming in. I hope we can see if we can get it back here. But, um, wow, that, that's pretty good. We need to change the direction of, of uh, the, the black church. It just amazes me. We're the poorest. We're the poorest and in, a, in America. Yeah, Actually, in the land of opportunity. The United States Census Bureau statistics say that the ethnic America, I mean, excuse me, mm -hmm. the black America, mm -hmm. we only have 8% of us that have income over $100,000 a year. And wow. we have 47% that make less than $30,000 a year. Wow. That was the lowest of any ethnic race wow. in America. In fact, what? the Latin community has just now passed Are you the, the black community. That's according to the United States. And we've been here longer than, 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 than the uh, other races. Right. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm just saying, you know, yeah. some of the Latins still can't speak English. But yeah. income-wise, mm. their incomes are higher. Be. And the reason why is because they have more of them who are business owners. Go down South Side Richmond. You see the Mexican restaurants, the, the Latin stores. You know, they're going into businesses. Wow. You see where <clears> we're <throat> still looking for people to give us a job. See the difference? Right. See, right. you can't. You and can't, we can't blame all that on racism. Right. Yeah, because see, we're in racism. Uh, no, we're, listen. You can't blame that on racism. Yeah. See, you understand? Mm. See, in fact, 
we, we should stop playing the blame game. Exactly, exactly. Because God's given us the ability to generate our own income. Mm -hmm. He says it in his mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. See, all we need to do is to hear that. Yeah. That's why I thank God for you having me on this yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm speaking to the television audience. Mm -hmm. Listen, faith comes by hearing. And I'm telling you, you don't need to wait for somebody to give you a job. You can actually get your hands on something that mm -hmm. you can sell. And then go sell it yeah. and generate your own income. Yeah, it's going to take some work. It ain't no over in the night thing. But listen, you you work eight you when you had a job, mm -hmm. you worked eight hours a day, forty hours a week, exactly, all your life, and then get to sixty five and don't have enough. Wow. See, so yeah. isn't it better to work hard to build a business? Mm -hmm. So from your home, yeah. we got the internet, we got the cell phone. We, oh my goodness! Come on, let's just go make it happen. Yeah, opportunity, opportunity is out there. Absolutely, opportunity is out there, and we have to go get it. And, and the churches have to motivate people. This is what you need to do. Right. And 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 and, and kind of push them out of the, <laughs> the nest. Right, quick, yeah, but I have to tell you <laughs> right, this. Right. I have to tell you this. But. See what? See, there's three principles. Mm -hmm. One principle is called. Uh, Sowing and reaping. Okay. Okay. Actually, we get sowing and reaping from seed time and harvest. Right. Seed time and harvest is a law of mm -hmm. nature that God instituted when he created the earth. Okay. And basically, that, that law of seed time and harvest or sowing and reaping, mm -hmm. it, as it pertains to the earth, mm -hmm. remember? Mm -hmm. The earth is designed, right. God designed mm -hmm. it, to bring forth fruit after its own kind. That's right. See, but that's a natural principle. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another principle, which is called giving and receiving. That's not a natural law, right. and it's not a financial law. It's a spiritual law. Okay. In fact, it's a spiritual act. Remember, God so loved yeah. that okay. he gave. Right. Right. Now, what was the reason for his giving? Was he trying to get a harvest? No, he just loves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just gave because he loved. Yeah. God is love. God yeah. so loved that he gave. Mm -hmm. See, giving and receiving is not a financial act, but we've been taught that. that In other so words, true. you give your money, that's how you get rich. Yeah. Give your money, that's how you're going to prosper financially. Right, right, right. No, that's how you store up treasure in heaven. Mm -hmm. See, the reason and the motive for our giving is not to receive. The Bible says in Luke 6, 34 and 35. Yeah. The reason why we give to God is because we love him, not because we're trying to get that's something so from true. him. That's so true. The reason why we give to God is because it's the way that we honor God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. You see? But the way we get money, Jesus taught, the Bible teaches another principle. Mm -hmm. It's called buying and selling. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. Giving and receiving. Right. Buying and selling. That's it. And the way we get money, and until we realize this mm -hmm. and know this as a people, we're going to still be broke. Yeah. We got to buy something mm -hmm. and then sell it. Wow. That's called uh, trade. Yeah. It's called the yeah. marketplace. <laughs> the free market. <laughs> That's how. Yeah. And as far as black folk, mm -hmm. we're spending some money. Yeah. We're the biggest we consumers. Yeah, right. We're the biggest consumers. We're going out and spending our money on $200 Nike sneakers, wow. shoes. But what we need to do is to take some money and sow it. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Put it in the bucket? No, it means set something in motion and begin an enterprise mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. We got to realize that God ministers seed to the sower, and the word sow means the beginning of business. We got to change the way we think. Yes. Glory to God. We got one minute. Uh, thank you, Dr. Parson. Um, wow, some heavy stuff we talked about tonight. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to Faith, Family Values, and Politics. I'm with Dr. Parson tonight. And I hope you've gained something from this show because it's really uh, uh, trend setting to uh, 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 this thinking. And so we want to thank you for stopping by and listening to us. And we're going to call it a night for you. And as we leave, we're going to say goodbye. We'll see you next week. Same time, same station. God bless. Any day now is what I kept telling myself on the last mile. On the road to somewhere I put along.